All right, this is a very long trig lesson. This is pretty cool. This is the unit circle. I'm gonna go potentially painfully slow. So I hope you have this piece of paper out and we're gonna go through this. And uh, there's different strategies for helping kids memorize the trig wheel. Uh, I do it a little differently. I like what I do. I think it's cool. So I'm gonna walk through this very slowly. I'm gonna, first of all, do the degrees, then I'm gonna do the radians, and then I'm gonna do the coordinates. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll clear the screen each time, okay? So remember, degrees and radians are different ways of looking at this. Degrees is an angle measure, while radians is a length, okay? So obviously, just to explain that, this is 30 degrees right here, that line right there, and then, the radians would be the length of this arc in terms of pi. So that's, it's, just, it's a different unit, and you have to know them both. Most people think in degrees only. And I'm going to try to prey upon that a little bit, you know, just to try to capitalize on that, because I think that'll be a good thing for you guys to remember, because I know you guys know that, okay? Um, all right, so the degrees. Let's just walk, this is pretty simple. So for the first one, this is zero degrees or 360, okay? Write nice and small, I'm writing bigger because you're gonna fill in, there's gonna be a lot of writing on this. So write nice and small. Okay, this is 30 degrees right here, okay? And uh, this is 45, okay? And this is 60, and of course this is 90, a right angle, okay? And then here's 120. 135, that's a three, 135, there we go, 135. And uh, this is 150, and this is 180, okay? And the next one, this is 210, okay? This is 225, and this is 240. And then this is 270 down here. And then this is 300. This is 315. And this is 330. Okay. So and then, it, then it goes back to 360, of course. Okay. So get that written out. Obviously, pause it when you need to. I'm going to erase that now. And I'm going to go over radiance next. Okay. All right, let me clear this. Okay, so radians, and I'm gonna switch colors just because maybe you should, might be a good idea to switch colors. So radians, it starts off with this, this is zero, or if you go all the way around, it's two pi, okay? This right here, 30 degrees is pi over six. That's a pi over six, okay? So let's stop there real quick. All of the ones that have a denominator of six are 30 degree reference angles. And there are four of them, okay? One, two, three, four. You'll notice that they will all have a um, denominator of six. And why is that? Because six goes into 180 three times. 180 divided by six is 30. So that's how you know that. Okay. So that's pi over six. This is, this is pi over four. There's a four pi over four. Pi over four is a 45 degree reference. Anything, anything with the denominator of four is a 45 degree reference angle. Okay. That's because 45 goes into 180 four times. Okay, and the next one is uh, pi over three. Pi over three means one third pi, okay? Because remember pi, and I'll label it here, pi is 180. So one third of pi is 60 degrees. And that's because 60 goes into 180 three times. So anything with a denominator of three will be a 60 degree reference angle. It's kind of handy to know. Okay, and this is of course pi over two. And again, you got to write in the little slot that I have for you, pi over two, because that's half pi. 
half of 180 is 90 degrees. So that makes sense as well. So the next one is two pi over three, two thirds pi, and that is a 60 degree reference angle. We talked about reference angles earlier in the course, okay? And then this is three pi over four, okay? And three pi over four is 135 degrees, and that's three fourths pi because there are three 45 degree angles that get there. Remember, a denominator of four means you're, you have a reference angle of 45 degrees. And then this one is five pi over six, okay? Five pi over six, five sixths pi. Remember, a denominator of six has a reference angle of 30 because six goes into 180 30 times. 30, 30 times five is 150. That's 150 degree reference angle. Okay, so then we have pi, which is 180. And now we're going over one. So this is gonna be seven, seven pi, that's pi over six, okay? Seven pi over six is right there, okay? That's 210 degrees, which should make sense. Six goes into 180 30 times. 30 times seven is 210, okay? The next one is five pi over four, five pi over four, okay? Five pi over four is one and one fourths pi, which is one and one fourths of the 45 degree angles. There's five 45 degree angles to get there from zero. Remember, a denominator of four means the reference angle is 45 degrees. And then the last one in quadrant three is four pi over three. And again, that's a 60 degree reference angle because 30 into 180 goes 60 times, four pi over three. And the last one is three pi over two. Okay. That is a, a 270 degrees, one and a half pi. All right. The next one, the 300 degree one there is five, that's a five pi over three. Okay, that's a five right there. There we go. Five pi over three. Okay. That is a 60 degree reference angle because three goes into 180 60 times. Okay. So 60 times five, six times five is 30, so it's 300 degrees. The next one, I gotta fit, I'm gonna move it out here. I put an arrow right there. This is for the 45 degree one. This is uh, seven pi over four, okay? And again, that's a reference angle of 45. That goes with the 315 degree angle. And uh, the reference angle of 45, because it, it, the denominator is four, four goes into 180 45 times, okay? And then this one is 11 pi over six, the reference angle is 30 degrees, okay? So you now have written down the trig wheel, the entire wheel, the unit circle in terms of degrees and in terms of a radiance. So that's a good start for you, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we are going to, and I'll change colors again. This will get a little tight here. Um, we're going to do all of the um, actual measures and that's gonna be the coordinate pair here, okay? So at this point in the circle, at the point of zero right here at 360, the coordinate is one zero. Remember, I'm gonna write this on the side now. Remember, X is the cosine. I want to write that down somewhere. Y is the sine. They're alphabetical, X cosine, Y sine. Okay. So that's the coordinate one, zero. Put a dot there. Okay. At that point right there, it's one, zero. Okay. <clears throat> now at 30 degrees, and I'm going to draw this triangle out real quick. I'm going to draw this one out. I'm going to keep, I'm going to draw these for a while so you get the hang of this. We're now at 30 degrees or pi over six, that first coordinate there. Now, if you notice, and I'll do arrows right here, this is pretty long and this is short. 
Okay, the radius is always going to be one, so you won't worry about that. That's why it's called the unit circle because it's one unit is the radius. Okay, notice that x is longer than y right here at third degree. So, okay, do you see that how x is longer than y? Now, let's go back over what you may already know. Okay, there are three really, there are three um, special triangles that we need to memorize. Okay, they're pretty simple. But in those, one half is the shortest length that we memorize. And that, okay, that's about 0.5. Then radical two over two is the next one. That's about 0.71. And then radical three over two is 0.86 or 80, something like that, okay? Those are the three. The shortest angle is a half. The longest is radical three over two. And then the middle is radical two over two. Radical two over two is only for the 45s. So it's really easy. And then the other two are partners. One half and radical three over two are partners, the long and short ones, okay? So you can just kind of tell by looking at it that the, the X is longer. So this coordinate right here will be radical three over two for the X. And then the y is the shorter one, and that'll be a half. So that's the coordinate for 30 degrees or pi over 6. x is radical 3 over 2. y is 1 half, OK? And uh, they're both positive because they're in the, in the first quadrant. So you may want to pause the video now just to get written down this and this part here. And then I'm going to erase it as I go around the circle, because I'm going to continually draw things to help you out. OK, so let me erase this. Let's go to the 45. And you probably know a 45 degree angle, the legs are both equal on a triangle. OK, and I've already told you that a 45 degree reference angle, and this, of course, is 45 degrees, it's its own reference angle. Both sine and cosine are both radical two over two. That's pretty easy. You can tell the same length. So this is radical two over two, radical two over two, okay? So the coordinate of both of, both of those is radical two over two, radical two over two, okay? That's X and Y. I didn't write that very cleanly. Let me try that again, okay? So I'm right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put an arrow to this. So it's going to be radical 2 over 2 for x, which is cosine, radical 2 over 2 for y, which is sine. Okay, that's a better way to do it. <clears throat> okay. Next thing is we're going to go to the 60 degree angle. Okay, so here's the 60 right here. Here's the 60. And I know I'm going real slow. But here's the 60. Notice you have a long and short side. This is the short side. You see how short, shorter that is? This is the long side, okay, short and long. So then we know X is short and short is a half. We've memorized that. And Y is long and that's the sign. And that's gonna be radical three over two because those always come in partners, okay? And then of course at the top, this is zero, one. That's an easy coordinate for 90 degrees. X is zero and Y is one. That's just on the X axis there. Okay. All right. So I'm still going just as slow, trying to help you here. The next one we're going to do is uh, 120 degrees. So here we go. Here's 120 right there. So there's 120 degrees. Okay. And if you notice, X is short and Y is long. You can tell by visually looking at it. And this is an important thing to skill to remember because I'm going to teach you a unique way without the trig wheel to memorize or quickly find what any, what any um, value is right around the unit circle. Okay? All right. So with that in mind, um, I'm going to go ahead and draw an arrow to this. Okay? So X is short and X is negative in the second quadrant. So that's the cosine. So negative a half and Y is long and it's positive radical three over two. Okay. All right. 
The next one is the 45. And the 45s are, remember, the 45s, the X and the Y are both equal at the 45s, okay? And they're both radical 2 over 2. So again, here's my arrow to this so I can write it bigger. So this will be X is negative radical 2 over 2, and Y is positive radical 2 over 2, okay? And the last one, last one right here. <clears throat> okay, so again, let's draw this out. You can tell that the Y is short and the X is long. You can just tell by physically looking at it. Y is short and X is long. So let's go with X. X is long. X is negative in the second quadrant. So that's negative radical three over two. And then y is shorter and y is positive in the second quadrant. That's a half. Okay, that's simple. And then at 180, this is pretty simple. That's um, negative one zero. Okay, negative one zero. All right. Okay, let me clear that. Let's go into the third quadrant. Okay, in the quadrant three, they're both negative. So the first one is seven pi over six or 210 degrees. And that one, if you look, X is long, Y is short. They're both negative. So long is negative radical three over two, short is negative a half. And again, they're both negative as in the third quadrant. Okay, so there's that. The next one is a 45 degree reference angle. Okay, this is one of the 45s. So we know that. So, uh, 225 or 5 pi over 4. Again, they're both negative and they're both equal because they're at a 45 degree. So negative radical 2 over 2, comma negative radical 2 over 2. Okay, and there's that. Okay, and the last one right here. X is short, Y is long. Short is negative a half. Long is negative radical three over two. Okay. And that's simple. And then at the pole down there, this is zero, negative one. Okay, so we're doing good. We are at uh, 300 degrees. 300 degrees is right here. And if you notice, if you notice X is short, Y is long. So we're right here, where the arrow is. Okay, X is short, and short is a half, and we're in quadrant four. So X is positive. And then Y is long, so that's uh, radical three over two. And it's negative because we're in the fourth quadrant. Okay, clear that. Next one, this is a 45. That's a 45 degree angle, reference angle. Notice that the denominator is seven pi over four, that's 315 degrees, okay? <clears throat> um, so we know that in the fourth quadrant, X is positive, Y is negative, and we're done, okay? And the last one is uh, 330 degrees. And that right here, if you notice, that's a 30 degree reference angle. X is long, Y is short. X is positive in the fourth quadrant, so it's radical three over two. And I'm doing this one right here, by the way. And then Y is negative, negative half. Okay. So that's the, that's the unit circle. Hopefully you have that filled out. The next video is going to show you, if you work along with me, how to how to memorize this with just quick drawings. So you'll need a blank piece of paper. All right. Thank you.